Sagittarius, hey y'all, how are y'all doing? You have reached Southern Intuition, and this is gonna be a yes or no spread for the week of September 19th. I will pull three rows of 13 cards. If I pull an ace in each three rows, it'll represent a yes. If you get three yeses, your answer is most likely yes. If you get two aces, your answer is, well, yes. Um, if you get one, it could be a maybe. Uh, and we'll read about the energies that we see. And I'll pull an oracle or two. This is a general read. It may, it may not resonate for everyone. But, Saji, I believe everything connects eventually. So if it is your message to hear... You'll do so, and then please like, share, and subscribe. Oh, a little bit of a side pull here because it just wanted to come out. It looks like you are considering being single. Uh, something's changing in a connection that might have once been stable. You're kind of curious about something new. If that uh, resonates, cool. Mm, yeah, you're ready to take a break from some sort of situation. Tired of dealing with it, maybe. All right, let's get three shuffles for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus sign. Saggy, saggy, saggy. Yes or no? What does Saggy need to hear? All right, so your underlying energy here is this hanged man. Hmm, are you stuck? I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are, but you are. Your hands are tied here. Um, and you can no longer struggle to really get out of this situation. You're, you're at a crossroads and... You might feel like you're a little bit paralyzed, but if you surrender to the way things are, I believe a solution will come at the perfect time. All right, we're going to start the spread. We'll pull 13 cards or until I get an ace. High Priestess energy, putting your inner control freak to rest. Lots of communication. Oh, it's your choice here. There is a connection. Hermitizing yourself here just a little bit. The hermit energy. Standing off. Um, here you are again. The page of wands. The hierophant. The Wheel of Fortune, things changing, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Swords, <laughs> and finally, you got an Ace. All right, um, and so it turned out to be the 12th card. I usually, I'll pull 13, but so you have your first yes, Saji. Uh, let's look into this energy just a little bit. Uh, you want to take action towards something, so your answer could be yes. Um, it's something you put a lot of thought into. But you're holding yourself back with the high priestess energy. You're putting your inner control freak to rest. Even though there's a new path that you want to take, you're really excited to do it, but it's very intimidating. That's why the hangman's showing up, because you're like, oh, this... Just wait. You just want to wait. Um, but there's something here that you want to say. You're trying to express yourself. You could feel like someone's accusing you of doing something. Um, and it's your choice. Like you're, you're just like, this is too much. It's too much to bear. I really want something to change here. That's your focus. Um, there was this connection here in the recent past that probably made you really happy. There was a lot of happiness to it. But I think that you've learned over time 
to be okay with being alone. So you're showing up here in the current, in the immediate future, actually defending yourself. You, you might not actually take whatever offer here is um, coming in. You may not. Let's pull the next spread. The chariot lies on top of the, where's, oh, the tower. The king of wands, the page of cups, the six of cups, the eight of pentacles, the emperor, the eight of swords, temperance, that's your energy, the three of wands, the page of pentacles, Oh, the Sun and the Seven of Cups. All right, so we didn't get an Ace that time. Um, you're looking at your other options here. Yeah, there's an offer here. You're wanting to offer someone here in your past um, some, some sort of offer of stability. And I see you taking action. I see you in control, moving towards this energy. You could be a little domineering about it. But the problem is something's happening where all of a sudden phone calls might stop coming through. Um, somebody might go cold fish and it's kind of leaving you a little bit trapped. Now this could be you, it could be the other person here. But you're focused on, you know, the king of wands. There you are, Saji, being in your power, being beautiful, being patient. Because that's probably something that you have learned. And I see in the recent past, you opened up emotionally. This is probably something that took a long time for you to actually do. But you're really thinking about somebody here that um, you having sweet memories about. You used to really care about this individual and you wanna offer something. And I do see in the immediate future, you working on this, but it's like you're beating your head against the wall. Cause really you just wanna be happy. So it could imply, yes, you have another yes because you did get the sun energy, which is the happiest card in the deck, but I'm not sure. You might be looking at your other options here. So as of now, I'm still going to give it a maybe. We'll continue. Two of cups. Two of swords. Five of swords. Oh, eight of cups. The Four of Swords. Oh, the Three of Swords. The Judgment. Knight of Wands. Ten of Cups. Six of Swords. Page of Swords. Two of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Uh, okay, Saji. So again, with this stuck energy, you feel like you're not really communicating with someone. And I think you're looking at your other options. We didn't get an ace this time. So we'll just kind of continue to look into it. There's still some sort of communication here. There's communication. There's something here that you want to take action towards. That's what I see. There's two people. And I mean, it might be a little bit of a harsh communication that's going on between you and someone else. A lot of back and forth. Um... Someone's defensive, someone's trying to offer something, someone else is defensive. They're, they're like very sharp with their communication. Um, and you're trying to take a break. I think you've healed from this. You're, this has been something that's probably going on for a period of time. Um, and you're really trying to heal from it. Though you might still love this person and care about this person, you're also okay with being alone right um i think it's just a matter of a choice like someone could be offering something here but i think it's a choice to discern is this really going to make you happy there is this beautiful two of cups energy that's here but the high priestess is also implying that there's something that's unspoken from and it's actually what's preventing a rock solid relationship here with the two of cups so there is this energy of the two of cups and you you know you've probably been through a lot and you've learned experiences through this and so you're ready to kind of set out on a new path with this person it's like that wake-up call of what to do but 
there's still this energy of like somebody's pointing an accusing finger at the other person and then so the choice has to be made you know you're gonna rescue this uh handsome french from drowning or are you gonna forget his face forever you want to take action there's something here that you want to say but you feel trapped you feel very trapped and i think it's just a lot to deal with which it could be a little bit of self-sabotage because you might actually really enjoy this person you might be very passionate about them but you know there's also some form of healthy selfishness here you know it's your choice and if they're very domineering, you know, somebody could win here, but, you know, somebody could uh, also be a sore loser about something as well. And that's kind of where that focus is. This is a fear. This is a fear here um, that you're kind of holding on to in a sense. You want something to change. You're trying to be patient. You really are hoping for happiness, joy, bliss, but you're afraid that in a blink of an eye, it could all change and you would lose it. It looks like here in the recent past, you probably walked away from this. You might have stopped, you might have opened up, but then on the surface it might have looked good, but you probably really didn't think so and you just walked away. You do have this outcome of you getting what you want if you wait long enough but I don't see you really waiting. I, I see you moving on from this energy. I see you just trying to get out of it. Because, well, in the immediate future, there is heartbreak. Somebody feels like there's someone else in the picture. Someone feels like they're beating their head against the wall here, trying to get their point across. They're being very defensive. And again, it's up to you. It's your choice here how you want to deal with this energy. Um, like I said, you got one ace. One. That was, oh, that was this one. <laughs> I was like, where did it go? You got one ace. And you did get the sun, which is the yes. It's, it's a yes. But I would look at this more of maybe i think it's your choice you know first you've got to find happiness within yourself saji and then you can um move on so pay attention to this uh hanged man energy here um nobody really likes to get caught uh doing something wrong but it happens you know to all of us so if you can bear the consequences then the payment for the misdoings here could be a little lenient. And the lessons that you learn and you carry with you on after this situation will definitely be long lasting. So if you surrender to the inevitable here, that might provide you with an actual remarkable sense of relief. So you might've asked the question, will I hear from them again? is this going anywhere and maybe but we all have free will so just because some things aren't working out doesn't mean that you have to hang up the whole plan you know just take a break from the issue and focus more on your ideals that you aim for in the first place and good luck with that